Hey, it's Steve. Well, it's been quite a while since I've had a layout progress update video here on the channel. And the reason for that is that we've been spending uh, a large part of the spring and summer this year remodeling the house, working on the bedrooms, bathrooms, stairway, fireplace even. So a lot of different projects going on. We still have some other big projects left to do this year, like replacing the carpeting and uh, redoing the wood floor and the dining room and that kind of stuff. And so uh, there are still a lot of things I'll be working on for a while here, but Hopefully things will kind of get wrapped up here in the next month or so, at least the biggest projects. And hopefully I'll have a lot more time to work on these layout projects as we head through the latter part of the fall and into the winter and thus have a lot more videos. But I have made a little bit of progress on the portable and scale switching layout. And so I will show you those. Nothing really dramatic at all. I have added some fold out legs to the bottom so I can kind of more readily use it you know, next to my office chair, just kind of having it uh, stood up next to my desk. Also, I've kind of started playing around with structure placement using blocks of styrofoam, and I'll give you an update on what I plan on building in terms of structure. So anyway, let's take a look at the new fold-out legs that I've added to the bottom of the layout. So here's a look at the fold-out legs that I have on the bottom of this layout, basically one in each corner. And these are just simple metal legs that kind of snap up, and then if you squeeze them a little bit, you can slide them back down. Uh, they're about 18 inches long, so it does give you sort of a coffee table height for the layout if you do use these. Now, I did previously have these adjustable height feet on the bottom. You can see the hole here for those. And what I've done is just basically taken a couple uh, quarter inch nuts and used them to attach to this hole that's in the top of the uh, mounting bracket for these legs. And this way, as you can see here, that allows them to basically stick up past the metal edges of these brackets. And so I can still set the layout on those pads if I have it on top of a table, or if I want it on the floor, I can just swing up the legs. And then I do have a layout that can be stood up as sort of a coffee table type layout and operated in that manner. So here's a look at the layout with these legs extended and the layout set up on them. And so it is, you know, not the sturdiest of tables, especially because it is only a foot wide. And so these legs are pretty close together. And so as a result, it does shake a little bit if you do move it and you can open the drawer and everything. And then you can see it's gonna shake stuff a little bit. So you do have to be careful that you don't knock cars off the track if you bump it hard, because that could happen. But for normal operation, it actually isn't too bad. I haven't really had too much trouble with it in terms of, you know, constantly knocking cars off or anything like that. So it does provide a nice little option for operating the layout. Um, as you can see here, I do have some styrofoam cutouts and these are kind of a general approximation of how I plan to have buildings on this layout. So I do plan to have the back of the, of the layout pretty much one solid row of structures. I do plan to have some other structures set up here in the front as well. That's kind of the idea I plan to do going forward here. Okay, so I started scratch building some warehouse structures for the layout with the idea being that I could use some of these Walther's uh, loading dock uh, pieces here and kind of finish out a lot of these loading doors. I also have some material here that looks like, you know, it could be a rolling door. I could just put that underneath instead of using the actual rolling doors that come with the, uh, the Walther's kit there. So I will probably do some scratch building with this, but this takes a long time. It's been a banana's year in terms of time, you know, with remodeling the house, work being crazy and, and everything else. So I actually decided to go ahead and pick up a bunch of kits that I can kit bash for the layout, which should hopefully make things progress a lot faster. So I picked up this Pike Stuff prefab warehouse and I'll use that to construct one of the structures. I also picked up another Walther's Modern Concrete Warehouse structure. Uh, these are great. You can build these however you want. I've used these on other layout projects and they make for some nice structures. I also I also picked up the Central Beverage Distributors Kit. This also can make a nice structure too. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, wall pieces and, and things that you can use between the two sort of uh, you know warehouse and office buildings that are part of this kit. So this will I think be good for kit bashing. And then I picked up the big Superior Paper Company kit, and this one I mainly picked up because there is so much material in it. So it's a more expensive kit, 
but you do get some some very large structures. And so, you know, there's plenty of uh, brick walls that, that'll be nice to use. There's um, sort of your metal siding type structure walls, which could be uh, good to use. And so that's the idea here. Basically take these kits and kit bash something uh, quite a bit faster than what I otherwise would have been able to do and uh, get something that I can get on the layout pretty quickly instead of scratch building everything, which would take quite a bit, quite a bit longer in general. So anyway, that's all for this video. Just a quick update on the very minimal progress that's been made on the switching layout, but hopefully I'll have a lot more updates to share with you coming up in the next uh, couple of months since I should start to have a lot more time to work on these projects at least a couple hours a week versus nothing per week like it's been lately uh, during the course of the next couple of months and this winter it should open up a lot more time too as uh, everything else kind of calms down and I have uh, hopefully an opportunity to really start churning out a lot more content during that time but that's all for now and thanks for watching bye